For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And on this Memorial Day weekend, let me lift up to you the world's greatest soldier. And I say the world's greatest for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And the world's greatest warrior is on the least thoughts of the world. And the Bible says that he made the world and the world knew him not. And he fought the greatest victory and won. And the battle that he fought wasn't against a nation. It wasn't against a group of people. But the war that this soldier fought was against the devil himself. And let, let me, me tell you about, about Jesus Christ, Christ. God's, God's warrior. warrior. And he didn't have a bazooka, a flamethrower, grenades, or a tank. He had the holiness and the righteousness of God. And the devil came at him full force. And this warrior, Jesus, was born in a city called Bethlehem. And there was no room for this soldier named Jesus. And Jesus came to seek them that are lost. And when this soldier was born in Bethlehem, he knew 33 years and a half later that he will die in battle upon Mount Calvary. Jesus, our Lord, God, and Savior. Not only was just a man born in Bethlehem, but God manifested in the flesh, came unto a city of Israel, and was born. And the angels proclaimed to shepherds watching their sheep the battle has begun. And you will find this warrior lying in a manger where animals eat and drink wrapped in swaddling clothes. Where there was no room for him in the world. God left his throne of all the angels and cherubim. And he was born in Bethlehem. To seek them that are lost. That was his mission. The creation of God failed and sinned. And they did not listen. To God. 
God plainly told Adam, do not eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he ate of that fruit. Man became a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. And except what you do, what God tells you to go, even good people die and go to hell. And there would be no entrance into heaven except God the soldier was born in Bethlehem. And these are his orders from God. Live, grow up, learn obedience, suffer, get sleepy, get rejected. And head for Calvary. Rachel, get over here. Head to Calvary's Hill. And suffer and die for man, the sinner. That through you, Jesus, they can obtain eternal life. And when you go into battle, Jesus, many will go the broad way into destruction. And few will go through the gate that leadeth to life. And the enemy that will stand against you is the devil. And man himself. You will stand against the pride of man and the pride of devil. And when you obtain the victory in that battle, I will set everything before your feet and under your feet. Jesus couldn't even find a place to, to be his first night. As many of you, he can't even find a place in your heart for bullying. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. You're not going to ignore Jesus. When the Bible says prepare to meet thy God. And God is Jesus. And Jesus is God. And you better meet him on this side of your life as your Savior, rather at the great white throne judgment where he, where he will be your enemy.
The devil tried everything he can do to get rid of that soldier of God. And I said, the angels proclaimed to the shepherds, the warrior has been born and he is wrapped in swaddling clothes in the manger. And the angels did not sing. The Bible says they said, glorifying Jesus Christ. You need to read and study your Bible and trash can traditions of man. The soldier that came to seek that which is lost is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, Jesus speaking, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if you want access to God in heaven, you have to come through the soldier of God, Jesus Christ. When Jesus started his ministry at approximately 30 years old, after 40 days and 49, for, after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and in prayer, the devil shows up. With the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Come and make these stones bread. And Jesus had all the power to do it. In the wilderness, he made the rock to flow water for Israel. But Jesus Christ, the soldier, is now God, and he's now man. And as a man, Jesus needs to learn obedience, that if man has to suffer thirst and hunger, so must I. Jesus, the one that came to see that which is lost. And a man named Job, many years before, in his book titled by his name, Job, said, God, do you have eyes as man? Do you feel as man? Do you suffer God as man suffers? And God would have to answer Job, No, I don't. But as the soldier Jesus Christ, God can now say, yes, I suffered, yes, I got sleepy, yes, I got weary. God, Jesus Christ, 100% man, 100% God, now he knows the infirmities of man by being a man himself, and the enemy said, turn these rocks into bread. I cannot turn rocks 
the bread. Jesus is able to do it as God, but as man, nope. Not going to do it, Satan. Stand on top of the temple, Jesus, and jump. And let God's angels protect you. And how many people have jumped from bridges and people have jumped from buildings to commit suicide and not an angel help them? Many. So the devil to Jesus is God will protect you. And it's plain and simple. And yet Jesus in his human ministry as God could not call upon the angels. He could have. At one time he said, I could call legions of angels, Peter. I can cast a whole army, Peter. And wipe the entire world out. But that ain't gonna do it. I must suffer. Jesus must suffer as a man. And Jesus cannot do anything as foolish as suicide. It's plain and simple. And then the enemy came to soldier Jesus and just outright said, Bow the knee, Jesus, and worship me. I'll give you all the kingdoms in a moment of time. Those kingdoms would belong to the victorious Jesus. And the devil gets the kingdoms for a very short time. The devil is in charge of the cities until the king of the kings and the lord of the lord will reign. But right now, Jesus is not the King of Kings. He's not the Lord of Lords. He is a soldier in the army of God. And he doesn't call upon his military, the angels, to help him to suffer as a man. That he might come to seek that which is lost. God has come in the flesh. And God has come to take on the devil. And he has come to suffer and die for the man that fight against him. Not just on this Memorial Day weekend, but I serve and love the risen Savior every day of my life. I don't just give Jesus one day in a year, two days in a year. I give Jesus 365 days. 366 if it's a leap year. And there will be very little flags waving for Jesus. There will be no aircraft flying overhead for Jesus. There will be 
no parades in the honor of Jesus. And yet Jesus, who is God and was man, suffered and died and fought his battle that man may be saved and one. He came unto his own, the Jewish people, and his own, the Jewish people, rejected Jesus. It was his people that said, crucify him. It was the Jewish people that did not want Jesus. Because Jesus the soldier wasn't going to fight their battle. And their battle was conquer Rome and let us be a nation. That wasn't the battle. And many of our soldiers have gone into battle for a piece of real estate. But that's not the battle. Jesus Christ came and fought the battle for your soul. Which before salvation belongs to the devil. Ye are of your father the devil. John 8, 44. And you cannot be a child of God unless you have the new birth. For Jesus said you must be born again. Because you have been born into sin. And you're not born of holiness. And there is nothing you can do for salvation. Nothing. It has been done by the soldier named Jesus. He has taken on the enemy, the devil, and has won. The devil has taken me on. And the devil has won. The, de the devil does not appreciate the warriors of God. Especially the chief soldier, Jesus Christ. No! You see, the devil doesn't need to hang out in the bar room. That's where his people are already. And if Christians are at the bar room, they have no business, but the devil don't care. I'll tell you where one place the devil is today. He's at the farmer's market because a man preaching about Jesus. He can't stand that. He can't stand the elevation of a soldier named Jesus Christ. Being praised, being preached, being taught about to a bunch of his people, the devil's people. He does not want the people to know that the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? The devil's hell. And where did you get that from? I got that from Jesus in the book of Matthew. Where hell was made for the devil and his angels, and Jesus fought a fight and won the victory upon Calvary's hill, upon the cross of Jesus with the blood of God, that he suffered and died according to the scripture, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scripture. And the devil attacks the preaching of God by the devil's music. A man that, that 
sings about alcohol, a man that sings that the angels don't want him in glory, and I can tell you how to get the angels to cheer according to the scriptures of the book of Luke, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and the angels will rejoice. Here is God being preached and there is the devil being sung. We are in a battle. We are on this weekend celebrating men and women who have been in the armed forces. Thank you for your service. But if you die without Jesus, you will go into a devil's hell forever as a loser. People go to hell by rejecting the soldier named Jesus Christ. And I don't care if you've been in the Navy, the Army, the, 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 the Marines, the Air Force, or the Coast Guard. Without Jesus Christ, you don't go to heaven. In order to be saved, you don't go to a captain, you don't go to a president, you go to God, which is Jesus Christ. Only Jesus is able to save your soul. And you will die because the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the gift of God is eternal life. And that eternal life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are here, sometimes, you know, with troubles or problems, we can't be here. But we are here usually every week, Saturday morning. And we uplift the same soldier each and every week. Jesus Christ. And you bring any soldier of any war before me, and I will tell them to believe on Jesus. And thank, and thank you for you your service, but you, you must, must believe on Jesus to be, to be saved. saved. I'm sorry, but Vietnam, Afghanistan, the, the Spanish-American War, World War II, World War I, is nothing compared to the war of your soul between God and the devil through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ won by the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died and many men and women have suffered in battle. But they are not God. They are sinners that also need to be saved by the blood of God, Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Well, you don't know, preacher, I've been in combat. No, I have not been in combat. But Jesus Christ has. There are things that I have suffered that you have not suffered, and there are things that you have suffered that I have not suffered, and there are things together that we have suffered. But there is only one soldier on the battlefield that suffered all. Jesus Christ. And he was tempted by the tempter, by the enemy, the devil. And he won. And the enemy got his own people, the Jewish people, to try to get rid of the soldier called Jesus. And Jesus 
one. And yet, as a nation under God, you don't even have one day given to Jesus Christ, the soldier. In God we trust, we can't give one day to Jesus Christ. No, Jesus Christ was not born on Christmas Day. That is the God Camus. That is not the God of the Bible. No, he did not resurrect on Easter. Easter is the goddess Estar. Those are holidays to fallen gods, not the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving has become a joke. As we gotta hurry up and go camp out to buy our junk that we can't afford. When we make the credit card our God to buy the junk we don't need on a day we're supposed to thank God. George Washington declared thanksgiving to the God that brought the pilgrims over to America. And you have changed that day to get you out so you can go for a Black Friday. God is not in your thoughts. And woe to you that reject God the Son. For he that has the Son, Jesus, shall see eternal life. He that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, and the wrath of God is hell. Literal place of burning and suffering by rejecting Jesus Christ. You do not go to church to go to heaven. Church may be a tent of the devil. You may be fornicating with the devil if your church is of the devil called religion. Because Jesus said, I am the way, Jesus speaking. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And your church may be a refuge of Satan's camp. That he will take you to be a prisoner of war in hell, the lake of fire, for all eternity. The banner of the devil is religion. Disguised as the way of God, though it be not. The banner of the cross of Jesus is the blood of God. And the banner is not called Baptist, it's not called Catholic, it's not called Presbyterian, it is called the name of Christian. Through the blood of atonement of the Lamb of God, we we'll take away the sin of the world. And accept the soldier of God, you will not get into the camp of God called heaven.
as Bennett Arnold was a traitor to America and a, a friend to the British government, you who are not saved and wrapped in religion, you are a traitor to the word of God, but a friend to the devil. And you must step out of the ranks of the devil and put your faith and trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. soldier of God done. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus. 
that rock rolled away, the rock of roll of God rolled away and Jesus came out and seated at the right hand of the Father. The soldier has won the battle. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Get out from the devil. He's a loser. He can't offer you all that he promises you. Even the book of Hebrews said, oh, entertainment is good. It's fun. For a season. But when you have to pay for your sins for all eternity in the lake of fire, when you need not to because Jesus already suffered and died for you, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again three days and three nights, And the memorial of Jesus Christ is when you take the bread and the wine. That is not Jesus. It's a symbol. It typifies the body and blood of Jesus. It is not the body and it's not the blood of Jesus. And we remember what Jesus done on the battlefield. And that he's coming back again. And you've heard many say, we are in the last days. I guarantee we are. How last to the last days? I don't know. I lift up a tribute every day of my life to Jesus Christ, my God, my Savior. Thank you. Lord for saving my soul and you can believe on Jesus and be saved also today your name could be written in the Lamb's book of life if it's not there already you can believe on Jesus to be saved and if you think that this is hell There is no water in hell. There is no air conditioning in hell. There is no climate control in hell. It is constantly tormented. According to Jesus, the one that made hell, who went into hell, who deposited our, our sins in hell, Jesus Christ suffered and died that you might have life. Life is in Jesus. It ain't in church. Life begins at Calvary where Jesus Christ suffered and died. Jesus Christ 100% God, 100% man, and Acts 20:28 20, says that that blood that flows through that man is God's blood. And that blood was shed upon Calvary's cross in the battle against the devil. And Jesus won. And you must be born again. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. On this Memorial Day weekend, why don't you come and believe on God's soldier? You know, a soldier in the battlefield can fight and can win. 
He can die in victory of a battle and yet die without Jesus Christ. He has lost and his soul is in hell today. Because he has not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the soul goes into hell, Jesus tells us that the man that went to hell says, go and tell my family, don't come here. Luke chapter 15 or 16. 15 or 16. Your family and your friends don't want you to go to hell. They want you to believe on Jesus to be saved. And that's scripture. Luke 15 or 16. I'm going to go to hell and party. Oh, no, you're not. You will go to hell in torment. Because you rejected the soldier of God, Jesus Christ. That soldier will tell you one day, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Or the day that you die in Christ, you are absent from body and you are present with the Lord. Well done. Would you rather have God say, well done, or depart from me? To get a well done or depart from me is what you do with Jesus. Trust Jesus, well done. Reject Jesus, depart from me. You may or can get killed in battle. You may go off to fight and get killed in battle. Jesus said, don't fear the one that can kill the body. He said, fear him that's not only able to kill the body, but to cast your soul into hell. And that God will allow the devil to take you. The devil has the power, but God gives the permission. And you can die victorious in some great battle. And you can wake up in hell because you have chosen to reject Jesus and what you hear is found in the Bible. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you believe. The Bible says go on the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Thou shalt be saved. It's so plain and simple to believe that Jesus Christ is able to save your soul and you should be preaching the truth. Oh, he's so loud. He's turning people away. I'm doing the same thing that Jesus, James, Peter, John, and Paul did. I am preaching in the streets about Jesus. It's too bad you're not. It is too bad you're going to get wood, hay, and stubble. I have a chance of gold, silver, and precious stone. And you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Shame on you. Shame on your preacher. Shame that you don't study and read the Bible. Shame.
Don't you come up and do battle with me when you haven't read 66 books of the Bible. Because every verse I'm giving to you comes out of the King James Bible that I hold right here at my feet. Jesus said there's a hell and you will go to hell without Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. The soldier Jesus Christ was not even wanted in his hometown. Jesus came home to his hometown and they're about to run him out of town and kill him over the, the cliff of the hill. They were going to kill Jesus his hometown. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. Know that it hated me first. You, the world, hate Jesus, and I see it every week. And you confirm to me the Bible is real. The Bible is true. When many will go the broad way, and I look at the many right now, except you repent, thou shalt likewise perish. Except you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't be saved. You won't be saved. Because the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. So that soldier Jesus went home. And they bound well tried to kill him. Jesus came onto his own. And his own received him not. If you are in the military today and you're going to be dispatched with your troops and your buddies, you're no friend if you don't tell them about Jesus. A friend will tell a friend about Jesus. A hypocrite will keep his mouth shut. A fool will not open his mouth about Jesus. And you're no friend of mine. And you don't want to be a friend of me because I speak too much about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The greatest name I know. It is so simple to believe on Jesus. It is so simple. You all ought to do it. Children can do it. Children can believe on Jesus and go to heaven. There was one that said two days ago that Jesus Christ saved a young man. And Jesus Christ wrote that name in the Lamb Book of Life for all eternity. And you're not going to be saved without Jesus. And except you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It is so simple to believe on Jesus. Jesus is able to save your soul. The soldier that came into glory. That Jesus is able to save your soul. That only Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. Mama's going fishing and the baby going fishing to the jungle. Mama's going fishing. Mama's going fishing and the baby going fishing to the sky now. I'm 
be written in glory. Forever. If you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And you can go fishing into the lake of fire that burn it forever. Unless you believe on Jesus Christ. Forever. Jesus is able to save your soul. Forever. Jesus is able to save your soul. Forever your name can be written down in glory through Jesus Christ. Forever. The soldier God manifested in the flesh suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Yes, look it up. I look up to Jesus all the time. You're an idiot for parking there. You're an idiot. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And guess what? You're the one that don't use it put the dog on the leash. You're the one that's a lawbreaker. I'm not going to try and tell you what to do. I am. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Same and simple. It's the same message. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Only a fool would despise God. A fool has said in his heart that there is no Jesus. It's so simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's soldier is the Lord Jesus Christ and he fought the ultimate battle. You can be saved and go to heaven through Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can have your name and you can have your destination when you die through heaven through the greatest soldier, Jesus Christ. Jesus came to seek them that are lost. You, without Jesus, are lost. And without Jesus, you will go to hell. And hell is a real place, not because I say it, but Jesus, who is God, who was man, said it. It's so plain and simple. Come to Jesus, the Lamb of God, who is God and he is able to save your soul there is no salvation in any other but Jesus there is no other way but the way of Jesus, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto me, says Jesus, no man cometh unto the Father, said Jesus, who is the Father, who is God, except by me, the soldier of Jesus. Jesus who volunteered his life for 
with a shame. For the battle. For the war. And the victory. Upon Mount Calvary. Listen, there's no victory in the church. The church is closed. Thanks to coronavirus. The churches are closed. Jesus never closes. Until the rapture happens, Jesus never closes. But when the rapture of the church happens, it's closed. And that moment of the rapture could be any second, any moment, any minute, any hour, any day, any week, any month, any hour, any week, here. A salvation. You may not have the next hour. It's still morning. You may not have this afternoon. Today may be the day that your to-do list says Death. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. That may, may be today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Let me tell you something else about soldier Jesus Christ that no other man knows. Jesus Christ knew everything that would happen to him at the specific moment, at the specific time. He knew he'd be rejected. He knew he'd be tortured. He knew he'd be slain. He knew he'd be lied about. He knew he would suffer. He knew he would suffer a violent death. He knew the torment. He knew when he was going to die. And he marched his way to Jerusalem. He marched his way to Calvary's Hill. And he didn't call no lawyer. He didn't call no angel. He let the, cre he let the creation of God, the Creator, beat the crap out of him. They tortured and brutal the soldier of God, Jesus Christ. They whipped him with the cat of nine tails, the creation whipping the creator. And Jesus did radio back to headquarters, send reinforcements. Jesus did not say, call him the helicopters. Fire the missiles, God. He didn't do it. He didn't even call the medics. They gave him vinegar to Jane up. I don't want that. Get it away. He came to a city, and the city rejected him, and he said, because I'm going steadfast to Calvary. And the devil turned the disciples against Jesus. Judas 
sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. Your best, Jesus went up to Judas and said, friend. Jesus was betrayed by his family. Jesus was betrayed by his hometown. Jesus was betrayed by his friends. Jesus was betrayed by his disciples. Judas said, give me 30 pieces of silver and I'll turn that soldier in. The office that God administrated for the nation of Israel to see God the priest. And they gave Judas 30 pieces of silver to turn on the soldier Jesus. What would you do? What if your best friend turned you in? Your best friend walk up to the authorities and say, hey, what can you give me if I turn him in? How about you reduce my sentence? I'll tell you everything about him. I would assume you get mad. At least, at least you would get mad at your friend for doing it. Jesus said, Judas' friend... Betrays me with a kiss? A soldier of God. The one that I kiss, take him. The soldier of God betrayed And he came on his own, his own binded him and took him to the high priest. Come on, wait a minute. They, they, they put handcuffs kind of like on Jesus. You couldn't even do that to Samson. They tied Samson with rope. And, yeah, he broke. You tell me the one that said, let, let the light shine. In the beginning, God said, let the light let there be plants. Let there be stars. And you're telling me that God, the soldier, the creator, said, okay, put those things on my hands. Take me to your leader. Take me to the high priest. Why? All according to the scripture. See, we talk about prophecy. Jesus fulfilled the prophecy. Jesus Christ died. Amen. 14 at 6 p.m. And he knew that. At the time they were slain the Passover, they slew the Lamb of God. He cried, it is finished. And gave up the ghost. And he didn't mean his life was finished. He means the scriptures. He died according to the scriptures. He's on that cross and everything has been promised. Everything's fulfilled. It is finished. I need to give up my and Jesus died, suffered and died, according to the scriptures. And one of the words on the cross was, Jesus said, It is finished. And he gave up the ghost. And many men and women have given up the ghost, have died in battle. And many of them have been buried. Three days and three nights, according to the scriptures, up from the grave he arose. That's the soldier Jesus. That's the soldier God. That's the one that will get you out of hell. That's the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life.
and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the soldier. That is God. And his battlefield was the world. It was the nation of Israel's property, the promised land. And the enemy was the devil and his own people, the Jews. But the Jewish people are still and will always be God's people. And that blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I will bless them that bless you. And I will curse them that curse you still hold true today. If there's one message I've got to America, there's two. Number one message to America, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And number two, leave Israel alone and protect her and stand by her and be her friend. And if you don't, you will face the wrath of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and help the Jewish people. It's that simple. And there would have been no problems had Adam and Eve had just left that fruit alone. And don't blame Adam and Eve because you would have done it too. We are responsible for our own sin. And the responsibility of our sins was laid upon Jesus Christ. You see, you will go into hell to pay for your sin. And it will take you all eternity to pay for your sin. Or you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered and died for our sins and deposited our sins in hell and came out of the grave three days and three nights And if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You can have Jesus Christ pay for all your sin debt. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Or you can pay for your own sin. But you will pay for your own sin in the lake of fire that burneth forever with the devil. Now you can join the enemy of God, the devil. And that's the world, because the world hates Jesus. And many will go after the devil. It's, it's called, called the Broadway. Broadway. Or you, you can, can join, join the army of God with, with the commander-in-chief, Jesus Christ. Christ. You, you can, can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and, and get into the, the victory, victory lane. Get on the winning side through Jesus Christ, the soldier. And you have that choice. You may not make that 
that choice later because you may not have later. I guarantee I am not the only one, but I am one of the few that will take this weekend and give the praise and honor and glory to Jesus. I am not ashamed to tell you that I love my God and my Savior, Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed to lift up the voice and the name and the way and the salvation of Jesus Christ. And I am not being paid for this. I am doing this willfully. I'm doing it rightfully. And I'm doing it wonderfully for God. I enjoy lifting up Jesus. And you're not going to starve my bank account because I don't have a bank account doing what I'm doing right now. But I will get a reward one day for lifting up Jesus. I will get gold, silver, precious stone, and maybe an inheritance. But from the world, I get devil's music, argument. Rejection, go away, shut up, don't come back. And Jesus told Saul, the great persecutor, Why persecuted thou me? What you do to me that proclaims Jesus, Acts chapter 9, you will proclaim that you've done it to Jesus. Prepare to meet thy God. Jesus is coming. So is death. The only one that knew when death door would be open was Jesus. And he went right through it. No reinforcements. No extra troops. No angels. He only had one disciple at the cross and his mother, Mary. John. And from what I read in the account, it looks like that maybe John may have left with Mary. I don't know. He says, Mary, behold thy son. John, behold the mother. They may have left. I'm not going to stake my life on that one. But, but only John is there. Only Mary's there to watch her son suffer, watch her son strangle himself in his body fluids being crucified. And when you are, excuse me on a Memorial Day weekend, when you are crucified, you are not having a picnic. You are drowning in your eternal organs. You are suffering inside your body. You are drowning. And when he spoke on the cross, it wasn't, it is finished. <laughs> Paradise. Crucifixion Roman style was torture in itself. Thomas 
And unlike the thieves, the thieves weren't tortured by a cat and nine tails like Jesus was. You see, the enemy took Jesus the soldier and beat the crap out of him with a cat of nine tails. And when they took those thorns, if you've ever seen those thorns, they are sharp and long and beat them thorns in the head of Jesus. You, you couldn't, couldn't even, even touch, touch those thorns, thorns without, without being pricked. The soldier of God was put into the hands of the enemy, and one of the enemy was the creation of God, man. And the soldiers of the Roman government with their big fist Jesus. And the soldiers of the Sanhedrin covered the face of Jesus and beat Jesus and said, Prophesy, who hit you, Jesus? Which one of us hit you, Jesus? That didn't happen to the thieves. The Bible says they spit upon your God. You would not allow someone to spit upon you. And yet God allowed his creation to spit upon him. And the commander-in-chief of the devil's army, Satan, said, let him have it again. Do it again. Do it again. Jesus hasn't had enough. Do it again. And the Bible says that Jesus was so marred, you couldn't even tell that he was human upon that cross. Don't you believe those pictures? Don't you believe the, the Hollywood production of Jesus on that cross? It's a lie, according to the scripture. Jesus Christ, the soldier of God, was turned over to be at the hands of the enemy. And they showed Jesus no mercy. It looks like in the Bible, the last meal that Jesus had was the Last Supper. That's, That's a, a long, long time. time. <laughs> Judas took God's, God's soldier by a kiss and, and turned him over to the enemy. enemy. Jesus became a POW. And they tortured him. And I believe it's the Gospel of Luke that said they did such filthy things that it was even recorded. That the end of John's Gospel, he said, listen, I couldn't write everything that happened about Jesus. It'd be volumes and volumes. And yet the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Have you believed on the Son of God? Have you believed on God? Have you believed the soldier of God? I'm sorry. No soldier future, present, or past, has ever done anything for mankind that what soldier Jesus has done. I'm sorry. And there are many soldiers who will die, and they'll die without Christ, 
and they're fools. It's a foolish thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. And it's foolish to die without Christ when all you have to do is believe on Christ. I give thanks to the soldier, my God, my Savior, Jesus Christ. By the cross that Jesus was nailed on. But that's not it. The cross didn't save me. By the blood of God, Acts 20:28, 20, am I saved? By the blood of God that was slain, was shed through Jesus Christ, my God, my, my Creator, my Savior, the Captain, the High Priest, the Apostle, the Shepherd. All hail and all praise be Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you have not lifted up in memory the name of Jesus Christ Memorial Day weekend, you fail against God. You'll be worshiping men that are sinners for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God when Jesus Christ is without sin, God himself. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. Jesus Christ will do more than what your government can do. If I had Donald Trump here, if I had Nancy Pelosi right here, I'd tell them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Both. One or the other. I wouldn't even shake your hand if they had not believed on Jesus. You're no friend of Jesus, you're no friend of mine. My message to you, if you don't know Jesus, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have believed on Jesus, go to all the world and preach the gospel. Times are coming to an end. We may not have this afternoon. I hope we don't. Let me fully tell you that the message brought to you today has been fully approved by God the Father and the King James Bible. Keep your money. I don't want it. I want you to come to God. I want you to believe on God. I want you to serve God, Jesus Christ. I want you to repent, and I want you to believe on Jesus. The Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Anything in anybody else but Jesus, it's a loss. It won't be honored. I'm just a Bible-believing preacher saved by the blood of Jesus. I stand by the King James Bible. I don't go with traditions. I don't go with the teachings of men. I go by Jesus and the Word of God. You don't like it? That's tough. God likes it. I'm not here to please you. I ain't here to please a church. I ain't here to please nobody but God and Jesus Christ. You want to be an enemy? Stand in line for the people that hate God. Take a number. There's many. 
But better be known out of the mouth of this preacher, you have heard that Jesus Christ alone is able to save your soul. And if you don't believe on Jesus, you will go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's so simple. It's so simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Again, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. In case you didn't get it the first hundred thousand times, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. And may when you're sipping your alcohol tonight, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. May it ruin your beer. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. Acts 16, 31. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, S. Chapter 16, verse 31. For me, the Bible says, go to all the world and preach the gospel. For you, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is of God, and God is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the greatest, wonderfulest, holiest, righteous, the best, the one the most greatest of all to be. He is God, He's Creator, and He's my Savior. Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe, but you trust in him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, God, Creator, Savior, the all, the all, the be all, the name above all names. And thou, you, 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 you shall be saved. saved. You, you won't, won't go, go to hell. hell. April, April 21st, 1987 is when I trusted Christ. Christ. April 21st, 1987, I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. April 22nd, 1987, I went and told my dad, you don't, you don't go to hell. I've been doing this since day one of my salvation. I don't know how many years it's been. 33, 34 years. And nothing gets me madder than have somebody try to shut up the Word of God. But... God, God will shut, shut you, up you up one day. God, God will shut, shut you up by the holiness that he had and the rejection that you've done, done to Jesus. Hey, it even looks like you make it the last word. What would be your last word? Jesus is Lord! Splash. In the lake, lake of fire, fire. and you, you don't, don't ever come out. You know where the expression go jump in the lake? That comes from the Bible. It's called the lake of fire. And you can't have alcohol because alcohol burns. Duh. You won't have your cigarettes because they'll burn right up with the flame. Duh.
the soldier Jesus Christ called to come to do it. And he did it for you and me. He took on the devil and he took on man. And the angel proclaimed, he is not here. He is risen. Victory. And I take part in that victory by putting my faith and my trust in Jesus. And there's nothing else, and there's no one else that can save your soul but Jesus Christ. There's no other satisfaction of God but Jesus. You are not safe without Jesus. You are not well without Jesus. You are in the wrong army if you're not in God's army. You are in the wrong navy if you are in the fellowship of the devil. You are in the wrong Air Force if the day the rapture calls and you don't go flying through the air. You are in the wrong seas if you haven't called upon Jesus to be your Coast Guard. The elite of the elite of the best that's, That's not, not the Marines. Marines. Sorry. Sorry. That's, That's the soldiers, soldiers of Jesus Christ. Christ. Onward, Christian, Christian soldiers, soldiers. Marching, marching as to war. war. Carrying the, the banner of the cross. cross. You, don't you don't want, want me to sing. sing. You, don't you don't even like my preaching. preaching. You sure, sure would not, not want me to sing. sing. Have you come to enlist in God's arm? The battle has been fought and has been won through Jesus Christ alone. Come and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. What? 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 Believe on the Lord Jesus. I didn't say go to church. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't tell you to get baptized. I told you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep your money in your wallet. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you're not going to hear that on television. Trust and obey. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's so simple to believe in Jesus. My hat is off to Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus for what he's done for me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for the world's greatest good news. 
that Jesus, you suffered and died according to the scripture. And, they were, and they, you were buried. And you arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Praise the name of Jesus. 